So now let's move on to the second question, which is a real world problem based on numbers, right? So now in this question, we are told that the sum of a number and the number obtained by reversing the digits of the first number, right? This is a two digit number and the sum of the number itself and the number obtained by reversing its digits is 165. Now, one more piece of information is given to us in the question, which says that the digits, if taken individually, and if we subtract those digits, we get the value as three. We have to find the original number. So now let's do the first thing, which is assign variables to the unknowns, right? So we know that this is a two digit number, right? So this is a two digit number. So let's assign the variable X, right? To the first digit and let's assign the variable Y to the second digit. So for a two digit number, we have assigned the variable X as the first digit of the number and variable Y as the second digit of the number. So I can write the number as 10 into X plus Y, right? Which is nothing but 10 X plus Y. So this will be the actual number, right? Now the sum of this number and the number obtained by reversing its digits is 165. Right? So I can use this piece of information to form a linear equation, right? So I know that this is the original number, right? This is the original number. Now if I reverse the digits, right? So if I make the digits y and x, right? So after reversing the digits, I'll get the number as 10y plus x, right? So if this was 34, I would reverse the digits and get the value as 43, right? So now I have the number, the original number and the number with reversed digits. Now the question tells us that the sum of these two values, the sum of the number and the number obtained by reversing its digits is 165. So I can say 10x plus y, right? Plus 10y plus x gives me the value as 165, right? So 10x plus x gives me 11x, right? And 10y plus y gives me 11y is equals to 165, right? So now this is the first equation that we have got, right? 11x plus 11y is equals to 165. Right, I can simplify this a little further. I can divide this whole equation by 11 to get x plus y is equals to, so 11 goes 15 times, right? So this becomes the first equation. Now, there's one more piece of information that is given to us in the question. Can you form a linear equation using that piece of information? Give it a try. Well, the second piece of information is the digits of the original number, they differ by the value three, right? So the difference between digit one and digit two is three, right? So I can write X minus Y, right? This is the difference between the two digits, right? Because we have assumed the first digit to be X and the second digit to be Y. This is the value three, right? So this gives me the second equation, right? X minus Y is equals to three. So now I have a pair of linear equations which are in the variables y and x, right? Which are the first and the second digits of the original number. So now I can solve these two equations to get the values of x and y and find the original number. So now we have these two equations, right? x plus y is equals to 15 and x minus y is equals to 3. Now we can solve this pair of linear equations by any of the four methods that we are aware of and find the values of x and y, right? Give it a try. Well, we'll use the method of substitution to solve this pair of linear equations. So from the second equation, I can find out the value of X in terms of the variable Y, right? So I can say X is equals to Y plus three, right? This gives me the value of X in terms of the value of Y. Now I can substitute this value of X into the equation one, right? To get an equation which is only in variable Y. So if I do that, I get the value. So instead of X, we'll put Y plus three. So Y plus three plus Y is equals to 
15. Right, so if I solve this, I get 2y is equal to 12. Which gives me y is equal to 6. Right, so by substituting the value of x from 3 into the equation 1, we get the value of y as 6. Now I can use this value of y which is 6 and I can put this value of y in the equation 3 to get the value of x, right? So equation 3 tells me that x is equal to y plus 3. So y is 6, right? So x is equal to 6 plus 3 gives me x is equal to 9, right? So now I have the values of x and y, but this is not what we have to calculate, right? This is just part of the question. We have the values of x and y. Now x is the first digit in the two digit number, in the original two digit number, right? And y is the second digit in the original two digit number. So the original number is 10x plus y, right? So 10 times 9 plus the value y, which is 6, gives me the original number as 96. So the so using the information that was given to us in the question, we formed a pair of linear equations in two variables where the first variable x was the first digit in the two digit number and the variable y was the second digit in the two digit number, right? We solve those pair of linear equations in two variables to get the values of x and y as 9 and 6 respectively, right? And using these values, we calculated the value of the original number, which is given to us by 10x plus y, right? So the original number comes out to be 96.